Well, I'm absolutely delighted now to be joined by Dr. Julia Barthold. Uh, Julia, welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed for taking the time and your busy schedule to talk to us. Sir. Now, cryptorchidism, the uh, uh, guidelines been uh, released Sunday, I believe. So tell yes. us a little bit about cryptorchidism. Cryptorchidism is a condition where one or both testicles are not present in the scrotum, uh, either at birth or at a later time. And, and how uh, prevalent is that, and, and, and how serious is it? it it's, uh, it, at birth, it's about 1% to 4% of newborn boys. Uh, in smaller, for, uh, smaller babies or in premature babies, it is higher. And, 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 and what does that mean in medical terms? Uh, it's important because ultimately, if a testicle does not come down, it doesn't function as well. So you, there's a higher risk of fertility problems. There's also a higher risk of twisting or of tumors developing over time. Now, I, I believe that uh, uh, guidelines being uh, released this Sunday. Uh, tell us a little bit about the guidelines. So the guidelines were developed by uh, a panel of, uh, of pediatric urologists, endocrinologists, um, and a general pediatric um, providers. And they're, they're directed towards uh, physicians and non-physician providers in order to know how to diagnose and treat the problem. And uh, they, they uh, they're just updating the literature using a, a, uh, a statistical approach to look at the literature. There's also there's thousands of urologists come to the conference, as, as, as you know. And if you had yes. kind of one or two sort of takeaway points for them coming out of these uh, guidelines, what, what would they be? The most important thing is that it's clear that hormone therapy is not very effective, and so the preferred therapy is surgery. Uh, the other is. Um, that testicles can change positions over time, so children should be uh, observed and examined uh, repeatedly over time to make sure that, it, uh, second, that secondary undescended testis has not occurred. And also, the other very important point is that uh, imaging studies are not usually valuable and are not recommended to try to find testicles that can't be felt. Well, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Really appreciate it. Thank You're you. You're welcome. Thank you.